Apple has officially killed off the iPod. If you go into the Apple website right now as we speak, and go into the iPod Touch all the way on the bottom, you'll see while supplies last. Now, when you see this, basically, Apple is not making any more iPod Touches, so whatever is available, that is it. If it sells out, that is, that's it. It's gone. So I decided to buy an iPod Touch. It should be here tomorrow. And I just want to keep it a part of my collection because this is Apple history. We got to go back to the early 2000s when the iPod was extremely successful because I'm pretty sure now people are not buying iPod Touches because now we have the iPhone SE, the cheapest iPhone that you can buy, way more functionality than the iPod Touch. In the early 2000s, people were walking around with CD players, portable CD players with the wired headphones. In order for you to get the music, you take a blank CD and you burn it into the disc via iTunes. However you got your music, you could be able to put it into your iTunes library. And then on the other side of the coin, people were using LimeWire. I'm gonna get to that in a little bit. But that's how people were able to get their music back in the days. It was not through an iPhone, Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube Music. There was no subscription services. If you had a Sidekick, that was the iPhone back in the days. That was like, if you had a Sidekick in the early 2000s, you was on top of the food chain. If you had an iPod and a Sidekick, you was officially the coolest kid in school. So it was a totally different time. And uh, back in those days, there was no 3G, no LTE, and of course there was no 5G. In order for you to watch YouTube videos or check your MySpace, you had to go use a computer. What you doing on your computer? What's a computer? I know. With the iPod, when Steve Jobs introduced the iPod, it's not the first iPod, it's the iPod Classic, it kind of changed everything. You know, it eliminates the need of you having CDs, bringing like a big book bag full of CDs and see which one you want to play. It eliminated that. And then you could, you could sync up as many songs, I think it was a thousand songs at the time was the, the highest you can go with. And, th and then it just it multiplied to 10,000 and so on and so forth. It just kept on adding the capacity. But that was, that was game changing, man. And Apple took it a step further. You could sync up videos, podcasts. You could even play games for crying out loud. I'll never forget how impactful this device was. And I'll even go out the limb and say, that this was a little bit more revolutionary than the first iPhone. Yes, I know, I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate, and I'm not saying that the first iPhone wasn't revolutionary, because prior to this, Apple was on his last leg. Steve Jobs was fired, he created the iPod, it went off, and then we had the iPhone. You guys gotta think, this was the stepping stone. This, of course, this was the holy grail. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But without this, without that stepping stone, we would never have the iPhone. Who knows what phones we'll have now? And, and that's the thing, the iPod. Don't sleep on the iPod, it was extremely successful. And without that success, we probably would never got the iPhone. Steve would have been fired, it would have been a new CEO, it would have been different times. And the reason why I'm even making this video, the iPod was my first ever Apple device. This is my personal real iPod. So as you guys can see, my iPod, my first ever Apple device was uh, engraved, 1130, that's my birthday, and I got this in 2005. You know, I'm grateful to still have my first Apple device. Unfortunately, it doesn't work no more, but I'll never forget on how impactful the iPod was. And of course, what killed off the iPod was the iPhone. Now you have a phone, you have an iPod, and you have an internet communicator, as Steve would call it. So this was the only device you need to listen to your music, surf the web, make phone calls. So it kind of defeats the purpose of having an iPod. As more and more successful the iPhone became and more and more people bought it, what is the point of the iPod? So Apple introduced the iPod Touch. For anyone who didn't want to get an iPhone or maybe if you was a little kid, uh, maybe you just didn't want to get a phone line, that's why Apple made the iPod Touch. And that was my first iOS device, actually. I was too young to have an iPhone, because remember, you have to sign like a two-year contract. It's not like how it was today. And as the years go on, we had the iPhone 3G, the iPhone 4, the iPhone 5, iPhone 6. We just had a, a decline in sales of the iPod just due to the iPhone being so much better. And unfortunately, it took Apple long enough to finally discontinue it because when they first refreshed it with the A10 chip, it was like, wow, Apple is really keeping this. And um, the writing was just on the wall. 
people were not buying iPod Touch and I'm very curious to see the sales. And you know, the iPod Touch isn't like that iPod classic. Cause when you think of iPod, you think of the click wheel, you think of this, this sh shimmery back. I wish they brought that back for the iPod Touch, but nope. Um, yeah, and I, and I would love to get like that last revision, but people were just not buying it, man. It's just no need for it. I'm gonna kind of touch on the music industry a little bit. It started off of uh, purchasing CDs and you know MP3 players and then syncing it to an iPod, then LimeWire. Let me know down in the comments down below if you guys remember those LimeWire days, getting those computer viruses and uh, <laughs> and believe it or not, I'll argue that LimeWire actually saved the music industry because who knows, will we get streaming? But LimeWire, it, you know, it, it holds a special place in some people's heart. Um, it's something I'll never forget. And then now we have streaming. So now you can literally stream millions of songs right in your pocket. No need to burn the CDs and nothing like that. Anywhere you are, you can play the music. And even on your Apple Watch, you can play music right here on your wrist, connect your AirPods and you're good to go. It just amazes me to see how technology progresses and seeing what becomes obsolete. And um, RP to the iPod, I can't wait to get it in. Uh, I might do an unboxing, or I might just create a short out of it, I don't know yet. As long as I live, I'm always gonna keep the iPod because this was the start. For me and for Apple, it was the reboot. But for me, the iPod really made me love tech. And I, for some reason, I don't know if Grid Studios create like a frame, I would love to frame this on my wall because this was just the first Apple product. Like this was it. Rest in peace to the iPod. It was good, but now in 2022, there's no place for it. Let me know down in the comments down below. Have you ever owned an iPod before? If so, what was it? Was it the iPod video, the first iPod, iPod touch? Let me know. Drop a like on this video, help me out tremendously, and make sure you guys subscribe for more videos like this one. And don't forget to click on that notification bell. Until next time guys, have a simple day. Peace.